Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. I love all things clean beauty on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm 47 years old and have dry, normal to dry skin. I live in a dry climate. And today I'm trying out products that are new to me. I've got a concealer, bronzer, and two lip products. Like I said, they're all new to me. These are first impressions. Let me know if you'd wanna see more in-depth reviews of them or demos or information. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with the Hint Beauty Duet Perfecting Concealer. This is a cult product. It's been around for a while. I've had so many recommendations to try it, especially for mature under eyes. I have very dry under eyes with a few lines, wrinkles under here, you know. Hopefully that will continue because that means I'm continuing living and smiling. So let's see, I got the shade DC25, which is buff medium. And I obviously, I hope it's obvious, have my foundation on already. Most of my eye products comes in this glass pot. Of course I had to smell it. So a glass pot, plastic top. I have no idea if this is a good shade match. I'm just gonna use my ring finger and pat some under my eyes. It's a harder product, it's not melting. It, it, I am gliding along, but I'm not, it's not like melting underneath my fingers like a coconut oil product. At first glance, I don't see any coconut oil in it. I do see some jojoba oil and sunflower seed wax, so it does look like it could be a hydrating product for the under eyes as well as that wax could really smooth things out. So let's go ahead, tap it in. This could be a really good summer shade for me. It does look a little dark for brightening under the eye, but it does look like it will be a good shade match. I'm gonna put a little more. And I don't know the best way to put this on because this is a first impression. If you've watched me before, you know I love to use my fingers for everything, including my eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I remember when I was working, I had a woman compliment me on my eyeshadow. She's like, how do you apply it? Like, what do you use? Okay, well the truth is, I would drive into work and at the stoplights, close my eyes and wipe it on and hope for the best. I just used my fingers and so when I told her, oh, I just used my fingers and I just put it on, she got mad at me and said, well, if you don't wanna tell me, that's fine and stormed off. <laughs> anyway, that's a true story. And so far, this has gone on nicely. I've just tapped it in, I'm looking to see if I need more. Um, let's see, oh, coverage-wise, I think it looks great. Oh, I'm thrilled with that. Look at the difference. Oh, it looks so much smoother. Even the bag is hidden some until I look down. Wow, I am thrilled with this. And I don't feel like I need to powder it. I, I think tapping it in like I'm doing is perfect. And I thought this shade was too dark but I think it's actually perfect as well. I'm gonna put a little around my nose. I always feel like I look dark right here. Probably because that's a crevice in my face. <laughs> Is it just me or was that way too easy? I got, I have a little bit of a sheen under there. Not bad, I'll wait till after I apply the other products to see if I wanna powder only to get rid of some of the sheen, but it doesn't feel tacky or sticky or uncomfortable. I can see why this is a cult favorite upon first impression. I could also see it being a great replacement for foundation, just doing some touch-up concealing and spreading it out and not even using foundation. So this could be a great travel product. I'll have to give it some more use, but thanks for the recommendation everyone now that i've got that on i can finish up my eyes i'm going to go in with some of my bite beauty mascara that i've recently been testing out i've never worn it for a full day yet the mailman's here never worn it for a full day yet i have heard it transfers but it looks beautiful if you're looking for a volumizing more dramatic mascara Right, I just put on one coat of the Bite Beauty Mascara. It is daytime. I know I'm a little dressed up. I'm feeling very Leo, very sunshiny and yellow and gold, except for the, the face. The face is 
you know, more purples and pinks, but I'm feeling very spring and into summer, so I'm excited. Let's move into bronzer. This is the Tower 28 Bronzino Illuminating Bronzer. I love the Tower 28 multi-use products. The shade is West Coast. I've been looking for a replacement for my RMS Baruti Bronzer. I, it's just the shade is perfect, but I feel like there are so many other products out there, so I wanted to give Another product to try, I love the Tower 28 multi-use. I use them on my eyes, my cheeks, my lips. It's a great, great product. I've got two shades and love their lip glosses as well. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna swatch it first. It does have a bit of shimmer to it. I'm gonna compare it to two other cream bronzers that I have. I'm completely out of the Baruti bronzer, but I do have a Care Weiss bronzer, and I will try to figure out the shade. It just says flush and go on the back. You know, all of their containers are refillable, and so I don't have the exact shade, but here it is. I know it's a highlighter for deeper skin tones, but I use it as a bronzer. Actually, let me hold it up. Let's compare them in the pans. Both look rather golden and have a shimmer to them. They don't look so different actually. So here is the Care Weiss. And then I'm going to put the Tower 28. Oh, this is my first swipe of the Tower 28. Now I have a fingerprint in it. It's done. Here is the Tower 28 on the outside of my hand. Huh, a lot less pigment. Or maybe I just didn't dig in as much. Let me get a little bit more. So it looks like the Care Weiss has more maybe coral in it. And now I'm gonna go in with the Fit Glow Bronze. This is one of their Lumi Firms that they have, although I believe they're repackaging. Is that just a rumor? You can let me know. And let's compare again these two side by side. So it's really hard to tell in the pot is what I'm figuring out here. Let me go in. Got a little bit of a chunky uh, bit on my hand, but I'll rub that in. I think I'm gonna put it again closer. Let's put it above these two, would be a better choice. Well, the Tower 28 definitely looks more luminescent than either of the, of the other two. Let's go in, I'm not great at describing colors. Obviously, I don't know how that gene got lost, but I know what I think is pretty and what I like. I'm gonna go in, bring some life to my face. So I'm just going in, swirling around. These don't have a scent. Nope, still no scent. They're just almost the same texture as the Hint Beauty. Uh, it doesn't really melt under my hand, but it is smooth. The Hint Beauty concealer was a little silkier. And I'm just gonna start back here. I think my dog wants to go out. Look how easily and beautifully that blended in. Really lifts the face, adds some color. I think he thinks we can't hear him. He's like talking to the dog and who knows what. I'm just putting this in the usual places where the sun would hit around the hairline. I did on my cheekbones. You see, I just tap it out. You just touch it with the warmth of your hand and kind of push it into your skin. How easy was that? And I think it looks quite natural. Maybe it's just more neutral. I, I don't know. It looks really good kind of golden on my hand. Again, it's this one compared to the other two. So that's a yes. <laughs> I'll have to do a full face of the Tower 28 products I have. I think I'll put that on my list to do. <laughs> Would you guys be interested in that? Now I do have two lip products that I got. I'm gonna start with the Suntegrity Mineral Sunscreen Lip Gloss. 
non-nano zinc oxide SPF 25. I love Suntegrity. I love their tinted moisturizer with SPF. I love their impeccable skin with SPF. I do want to try their primer with SPF, but that's down the line. And actually I want to try their powder as well, their pressed powder, because that would be a great thing to take along during the day and just press onto the face if it doesn't remove your makeup and all of that, but it's an SPF powder. Anyway, so I have one of their other SPF lip products. I don't love the texture and formula, but I love the idea of the different shades and it's nice enough and I want the sun protection. So I got the shade 07, which is Pink Paradise. And what I'm actually gonna do is swatch it on my hand and then use it on my cheeks as a blush because I feel like I definitely need some color. That's a gorgeous bright pink. It actually reminds me of this 100% pure, the top came off so that it might be time for this to go, but this is what it is. This is 100% pure lip caramel and the shade seems to have also disappeared. Well, maybe I can go online and figure it out if it's still available, but it reminds me of this. Let's just swatch it next to it. Yeah, I think the 100% pure lip caramel is just more opaque. This definitely stains the lips and you gotta be prepared for a lip day, like to be the star of the show if you're gonna wear this. But the shades are definitely very similar in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's the only thing in my collection that is really speaking to me as the same shade. Now texture wise, these are thinner, not super hydrating or moisturizing, but, hmm. I wonder how it's gonna do on the cheek. I know you can use it on your cheek and why not get a little more SPF protection on your cheek? I'm just gonna spread it around with this Real Techniques fluffy brush. It's really pretty. Nice pop of color. I feel like with this look, I am gonna need a bright lip, but I'm excited to do the last product on my lip. That actually spread out quite nice. We'll see if it dries down any, you know, it does feel a little tacky like a lip gloss should <laughs> or would. So this does come in a few shades. Like I was saying, I have one other one that I will show you and put next to it because I'm always looking for these products that you can just put in your purse and use as a, you know, multi-use product. Just because a product isn't sold as a multi-use product doesn't mean it isn't one and especially for sun protection. I think I got a little bit more on this cheek. Oh, this is the game that begins. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. And I love the idea of getting a little bit more sunblock on my face. It's not gonna be enough to make a difference. I still have sunscreen on underneath, but I could see being out at the beach, bringing this one lip gloss and just swiping this on or out in the sun, not necessarily at the beach. Here's the other one that I have. This is the shade Creamsicle. I will swatch it on the back of my hand and it's a nice golden peach with some golden shimmer it's a peach with some golden shimmer so these do have shimmer in them and that's something that i like about them because i love sparkles and shimmers and they aren't scented this is what i wanted to mention but they have that they don't smell good upon application it fades I'm just being honest, I still like them, SPF 25. I feel like most lip products are only SPF 15, so that's a win and makes it worth getting past the scent, which fades quickly anyway. Now, let's get into a product. I mean, I'm excited about all these, but this one I'm really excited about. This is the Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. I got the shade Nana, and all of her stuff comes in these black bags to make it more chic. I wish they didn't, it's just a waste. I, you know, now have enough of them that if I'm gonna travel with jewelry or something, I'm covered. It just seems like a waste, and I feel like this is a clean company. We should be looking at being more eco-conscious. That's important to most conscious beauty consumers. It is to me. I don't know what to do with this. Maybe we should all write in and make the same suggestion, but super cute packaging, just for size reference. This is the size difference. This is short and chunky like I love, and this is a typical lip gloss shape. It's this sort of nudish pink, and this one has just like a paddle, like a flat paddle. Oh, I do get that lemon scent. 
which is really pretty. I have to put it on my lips first. I'll swatch it for you next. It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the shine. This is really comfortable. So yeah, it has a subtle lemon scent. I don't know if subtle, you can definitely smell it, but it's not overwhelming and it doesn't smell superficial and overly sweetened or anything like that. I like it. Applying it felt like I just wanted to put more and more and more on. It feels like a moisturizing lip balm. It's not sticky, but you can feel it. My lips are coated. It feels great. This is something I think I will reach for a lot. I don't obviously know how long it will wear, but I love the shade too. I thought it would really look washed out with this on, but I think actually it's quite nice. I don't even have an inner corner highlight on. I just realized we'll correct that too. Let me swatch this on the back of my hand. I'll just put it next to the Creamsicle Suntegrity so we can get an idea of how warm or cool it is and how shiny. I did not re-dip, but you can see it does have a nice shine to it. I'm gonna put a little more on. In the shades that I thought of that might be similar to this that I wanted to compare it to were this Fit Glow Beauty in the shade B. At least in the container it looks similar. Let's check it out. No, this that's far peachier. Okay. Oh, let's try the Tower 28 in the shade, I believe it's Oat. Yes. Let's see how this compares. This is one of their Milky Lip Glosses. Also has a paddle applicator. Let's see. I want to put it down below. Okay, so this is paler and maybe warmer as well, the oat. So I don't think I have anything in my collection like this. This is really sort of a cool nude. At this point, I don't want to change the lip gloss. I know I said I was going to go back in with this integrity at the end and put it on my lips to add more color. I'm not going to do that because this is so beautiful and comfortable. I think I will do another video where I show the lip gloss with the lip suede. I was going to do that today, but I feel like this really is enough with these products that the Gucci Westman, I always call it Gucci Westman, the Westman Atelier lip shades. I think I'll do this with the squeaky lip balm in another video and talk about the textures and the wear health long, you know, longevity and the layering and all of that. I'm going to put a little bit of powder under my eyes because it is... A little more reflective that I like just right in here and so far this integrity has not dried down on my cheeks which is okay it's a lip product but good to know the tower 28 is super comfortable and I love it so I'm also gonna put on some inner corner highlight and I'll be right back all right guys this is the final look I think it turned out really nice and bright and vibrant and I'm really pleased with all the products I got I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe. If you have any questions on these, if you want to see a more in-depth video on anything, let me know. I hope you're enjoying your spring. In the meantime, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today.